Hey guys, welcome back to Puffo's Woodwork. So today I'm not really building anything, but I did build something. I built a chicken coop and it all stemmed because our neighbors got chickens and then my kids and my wife drove me crazy and wanted chickens themselves. So of course there comes the chicken coop. So basically we was gonna stick it behind the garage out of sight, out of mind, but then with my two kids, they get back there and God only knows what they do to them poor chickens. So we wanted to put it where we could see it. So now it's in the backyard. So I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of to anybody else thinking about building of what I did. I kind of looked at pictures online and just kind of went off the top of my head too and built it the way that I just wanted to build it. So we'll we'll go over that. I'm gonna turn you around, walk you down to the backyard and show you what, what we did. All right, so here's the coop. This is my old my old dog pad right here that we don't use anymore that I'm gonna probably put a build a building on it. So as you can see from right here, that part right there, I cut it out with my CNC machine because the wife wanted to dub it the fluffy butt hut. So that's where we are. And then as you can see, I got shingles on the top here. That's where I started and then I was just gonna do a run. The run is actually six by eight and uh seven foot tall because i didn't want to have to duck and then after i did that i realized that the chickens ain't gonna have any shade so i went back to lowe's because that's a lot cheaper that's like that asphalt roofing and we put the asphalt roofing on it so i'll go ahead and walk you around and of course i used the half inch hardware cloth i didn't do anything spectacular and you can tell right there where i decided to go back and do the roof so I got these little gate latches right here on it. Watch that thing shut behind me and lock me out. So here's the little ramp thingamajiggy for the chickens to get up in, and then the door. And as you can see, directly up under there, I've got the, let me get in here. I'm afraid this door's gonna lock me in, and then they won't ever let me out. So I got the bucket, and I bought those little watering bowls to where when the water fills up, it pushes the bowls down and fills up the bowls. When the bowls get empty, they lift back up and cut the water, or it's the other way around. They lift up, cut the water on. When they fill up, they cut the water off. And then I got this pipe here, which is gonna be their food pipe. So we'll go over here because it's windy and y'all can probably tell about that on the camera. And I ain't getting locked in this coop. So here's my feed pipe. And I just got a little cap where we can pour the feed into it and of course it comes down and it runs inside the coop and that way they can eat there and i don't know if you can see all that wire it's not going to focus but anyway i'll show you the bucket side man it's windy so here's the pipe that's going to the bucket this way you can take this off take a water hose hey horn blowers take a water hose off and this runs down and then it runs into the coop and then it fills up the bucket as you can see there now we'll go to the nesting boxes so there we go i built six nesting boxes as you can see here I still need to come back and add a board here so the eggs and stuff won't roll back this way when you open the door. So that's pretty simple there. And then we'll go to the inside. All right, so on the inside, I made a little bitty makeshift ramp right here and I got this to where I can pick it up and move it. That way when they crap on it, I can take it out and clean it. Or when I go to clean this, I can move it and get out the way. So basically they can travel up the little ramp and it gets them for, to their first roosting board. And I did these, this is a two by four, but I knocked it down to three inches and then rounded over the edges. So of course chickens like to roost high. That's my blocking method to hold this in. And then of course up top, I've got two more roosting bars because they say that you want your, I know nothing about chickens, but they say you want your roosting bars to be higher than your nesting house or net, whatever you want to call it, where they lay eggs. So I put a vent door right there and then I did a vent door right here. And then of course, if I step directly out, 
I got a vent door right here. So pretty simple, there ain't nothing fancy, but that way we can open these up and it gives the chickens some ventilation when they're in there. And then right here, you see the washer with the rope. Let's see if this thing will pan up. The rope goes through. I got a, I got a pulley right there and it goes down to this door. The reason I did that is I can take the washer down, pull the rope, and lift the door. And then right here, we can lock the washer off right there, and it keeps the door, the coop door open. And then of course, they're going. I'm going to leave it open majority of the time, but that way when I need to clean inside the coop, I can lock them out in the run and clean it. Or if I need to get out there in the run, I can lock them in the coop. So basically, that's that's where that come from i still need to uh i still need to block off the nesting boxes which i did do a little perch here and you see i sprayed this i didn't i didn't hand paint it that way they can jump up to here to get onto this to get into the nesting boxes but these chickens are still babies and i need to block that off or they're going to be making a mess inside the nesting boxes and of course last but least is got the floor and all I did was paint it. I'm, I'm going to try to go to Lowe's and see if I can't find a remnants of a, a laminate flooring to make it easier to sweep all this stuff out. Because we're going to use the deep litter method with the sawdust. Because me doing all the woodworking I do, I got a, I got a whole bunch of sawdust. So I'll never have to go buy wood chips or nothing like that. So let me shut this up. And of course I put one, one the locking latch here and then I put two barrel that's for my kids so they can't reach up and let the chickens out while we're in the house but uh like here's the other window here so they need to get the air i can prop that open i still need to put some type of cable or something right here one of them them locks to hold it open so the wind won't shut it back but gotta let that thing ventilate and then of course in the winter time i want it to be able to close and hard to do I'm, i can't do nothing left-handed so oh and the bottom so what i did with the bottom is if you look close you can probably see there's the hardware cloth there i bought i did these two foot sections so 24 inches and then of course i bought the uh i bought the two foot hardware cloth that was 10 foot long so basically i just ran it trying to use this new camera thing so i just ran it from the top to the bottom and then i let what extra i had i let it run off here and then use these castle blocks or landscaping blocks whatever you want to call it i let them sit around the edge that way it keeps predators from digging under which we really don't have that much around here where i live i'm sure there's something that will try to get in it and the reason i went with the half inch hardware cloth is because i don't want snakes to get in there i'll be darned if i want to open up and try to get an egg see that, that's how big a hole is but a little one can get in but not a decent sized one but i don't want to open up that thing and try to grab an egg and grab a snake i don't like snakes or spiders that's when you see the girl inside of me so basically let me back up here's the back side of the coop and we'll just do a walk around nothing all that fancy but i know when i went to build it i watched a ton of youtube videos and this is what i ended up coming up with so i wanted to share this with you maybe give you an idea in case you wanted to do it i did build it kind of tall because i'm a tall guy that way if i have to get inside of here i can literally a six foot i want to say six foot four from the floor to the top but i want to be able to stand and not do all that crawling and then I got it, I can't remember how high I went off the ground right here, but I wanted it to ex give the chickens room to run up under here, but that's where I wanted to store the food and the watering system. That way they can get up under there and it's more protected from the weather and all that. So that's gonna be that. All right, that's it. So short and sweet video, but to the point really. 
I know there's a lot of people out there that build chicken coops or farmers and stuff like that. They can probably critique the dickens out of that, but uh, it's my first chicken coop and it, it'll hold my chicken. So the uh, reason I wanted to do this little short video is because when I went to do mine, I couldn't tell you, like I said before, how many videos I watched. So you could take maybe 20 different people's coops and ideas and then formulate your own plan like I did of how you want to do yours. So of course, I'd like to have a bigger run where I'm at in my urban setting, uh, I think free range is going to be out the door because too many dogs are in this neighborhood probably have my chicken nugget. So they're going to more than likely be locked up most of the time. So I may in, in the future extend the run and go, go a lot bigger, give them plenty of room to run. But we only have eight chickens, I think is all we got. So a little few different breeds. But anyhow, Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment. Like I said, I am not a chicken guy. They, they ain't even big enough to put in the coop yet. I just literally finished this thing today. So I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. If you got any questions about the build, I can, I can answer that now. But anyhow, like I always say, you guys have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. And to my subscribers, I really big shout out. Thank you guys for helping a brother out. And I'm gonna continue to try to put out videos, but they're just not going to be so close together because I stay so busy all the time. But anyway, y'all have a good one.